Have you ever wondered why overhead transmission line conductors are stranded? It might seem like a minor detail, but this design choice has a significant impact on the functionality and efficiency of our electrical power systems. Stranded conductors are popular in electrical power systems for transmission and distribution lines. A stranded conductor consists of several thin wires of small cross-sectional area known as strands. At the center of a stranded conductor, we find a steel conductor which provides high tensile strength. The outer layers of the stranded conductor are made from aluminum conductors which provide conductivity. But why use a stranded conductor? The core reason is flexibility. A single solid conductor doesn't have sufficient flexibility and coiling it can be quite a challenge. This makes transporting a single solid conductor of long length over distance a difficult task. To overcome this problem, the conductor is formed by using several thin wires of small cross-section, also known as strands. By making the conductor stranded, it becomes flexible and can be easily coiled for transport over long distances. There are several key facts to note about stranded conductors. Firstly, the stranded conductor has sufficient flexibility, making it suitable to be easily coiled for transport over long distances. Secondly, for a stranded conductor of the same cross-sectional area, the flexibility of the conductor increases with the increase of the number of strands in the conductor. Stranded wires tends to be a better conductor than solid wire because the individual wires collectively comprise a greater surface area. The stranded conductor is formed by twisting the strands together in layers. The strands of each layer are laid in a helical fashion over the preceding layer, a process known as stranding. Generally, in successive layers, the stranding is done in the opposite direction to the preceding layer. This means if the strands of one layer are twisted in a clockwise direction, the strands of the next layer will be twisted in an anti-clockwise direction, and so on, depending on the number of layers in the conductor. The total number of strands in any conductor is determined by a specific formula, n equal to 3x square minus 3x plus 1, where n represents the total number of strands and x represents the number of layers in the stranded conductor. Similarly, the diameter of the conductor can be calculated using another formula, capital D, equal to 2x minus 1 multiplied by small d, where capital D is the diameter of the conductor and small d is the diameter of each strand. In summary, stranded conductors are a critical component of our electrical power systems. Their design, which includes multiple strands twisted together in layers, provides flexibility and strength making them ideal for long-distance transmission and distribution lines. Their structure, while complex, is a testament to the ingenuity and foresight of electrical engineers, who continually strive to improve the efficiency and reliability of our power systems. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay connected for more exciting insights into the world of electrical engineering. Until next time, stay powered up.